Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we activated this uh, rotary onk crane thing. Well, that didn't work. We just have to be moving forward in order to latch onto it. Yep. I assume this is going to take us straight to the treasure, and then we'll be playing a Sphinx again. Which honestly makes this one of the least stressful uh, mummy bits so far. I can't turn to look behind me, so I have no idea when I'll be in the right place. I'll just look for a platform. Oop. Almost walked straight off. Ah. So it's just nice to soak your old, tired bones after a while. Now no one can bother me in the bath. What a weirdly specific thing to find here. You found the royal invitation. Kensu's all right. You got the items that the mummy collected in the castle of Uruk. Always makes me think of Sean Devlin's man's bag. You got the royal invitation. This official document invites you to meet with the pharaoh of Heliopolis. You got the fifth stolen Abydos jewel. Curators of Abydos Museum will be very pleased to see this. You got the 65 Onyx Scarabs that the mummy collected in the castle of Uruk. I did hope during that uh, last cutscene that... I did realize that, that I hadn't, you know, gone back to... Where the hell did that woman go? She left her dogs behind. Again! I hoped I wished I'd kind of taken a better look around, but you know, say la vie. We're here now. Better look around for these, I mean, or more accurately, the triangle ones with the, uh, the onyx scarabs in them. Royal Invitation. An invitation to see the Pharaoh of Heliopolis. What am I doing? I just need to show this to the guards, right? I see you have an invitation. The Pharaoh will gladly see you. Yes, your invitation appears to be in order. Go on in. You're much shorter than I remember, my lord set. And that's 400, so I don't think I can carry anymore. Oh dear. I mean, I could just run off with it. But I'm not going to, because that would be a real dick move. Wait, I want to see which one it is. I have a feeling. Yeah, of the Great House. I've been waiting so very long for the end of this wretched curse. I suppose I have you to thank for liberating me from Anubis's foul enchantment. 
Anubis was smarter than I thought, stopping me before I had a chance to finish my task. Perchance is Anubis looking for this crown? If you want it, you'll have to catch me first. Really, your majesty? Ha ha! Catch me if you can! Please, your highness, have some dignity. Alright, just checking for secret loot. Nothing over there. Honestly, not that bad in here. I know it doesn't smell very good, but, uh, and this doesn't fill me with confidence. But, you know, steam. Oh, shit! I have to do a boss fight before getting into the, t the, 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 the crown so far. <sighs> well, I have to admit, you are a persistent one. However, that persistence will not get you this crown. I will not let it fall into hands as ignorant as yours. You will never understand its power. Yeah, that's not a, uh, promising backdrop right there. Anubis tried to take the crown from me before, but he failed. He was forced to cast me into stone for eternity. That was all he could do to stop me. Now he sends you, his little puppet, to take it from me. When he holds the, the thing at that angle, you can see that there's no bottom texture to the blue thing inside of the crown. So they literally just stuck that inside of the model for the crown of, uh, Uruk. He must be getting old and senile, festering away in that towel. A towel? <laughs> oh, jeez. My brain is going faster than I thought. I shall return this crown to my lord, Set. But not before I crush you. Oh, shit. Killing me is the only way you will ever get your hands on the crown. Okay, not as bad as I was fearing. Dang it. Hand. Thought I grabbed it onto his back for a second there. Shit, I have no idea what to do. Nothing seems to be hurting him. Okay, chains, do I have chains to melt? No. Maybe I'll get very lucky and they'll attack him. Oh. I need that rock. Ah, oh, god damn it! I don't know what I meant to do with a damn. Oh, he's on me, that's why. Great. I don't know what I meant to do with the fucking rocks. Or why he turned the uh, spiders turn into rocks and they die. If they had to just kill the spiders. Oh, jeez, really? Oh, I'm not best pleased about this.
You've got to be shitting me. One of these finally goes smoothly for a change, and then I have to do it all over again. Oh, I didn't think there was going to be a goddamn boss fight. Leap. There. That's better. Kind of tempted to just fuck off to Abydos and hand in that fifth jewel, but for the time being, let's do this instead. The only thing I'd come up with was trying to kill all the spiders once they appear. See if anything immediately suggests itself to me with the rocks. I have some idea of what I'm meant to be doing. I didn't realize that those were the, uh... What the hell was that about? Thank you for giving me a second to go over here and pick this up. So it's not the spiders that turn into rocks, it's the stalactites. Oh, oh shit! Still gonna focus on hitting these guys because they're easier to hit. Tag Nabbit. Dare you crush me with your hand. Nope, not that one. That would be stupid. Damn it! Fuck off. <laughs> Gotta get that. Switching the wrong button this whole time. Oh, 
Hmm. Oh, that works for just fine for me. Stand there, roaring big guy. Blarg, I am slain. Ah, destroyed by a mere child. I am defeated for now, but you have made a very grave mistake this day. You have interfered with the plans of the Almighty Set. His fury will cause the earth to tremble, the skies will be scorched, and the hearts of all living things will wither in terror. In my final moments of life, I take pleasure in the fact that a slow, excruciatingly painful death is all that you have to look forward to. Set will destroy you, Sphinx. be worried by the fact that he knows my name, but I'm just relieved that he's dead. Ah, excellent. With this third crown, you will soon understand their power. There are still many perils yet to face. I am sure there are, Osiris. I am sure there are. You are close to fulfilling your destiny. The conclusion of the prophecy is close at hand. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. That makes it sound like I'm going to have to go die in a fire in order to save the world. Take this gold onk as a reward for your achievement. Yes, it did. Let's make a point of not going back to the Cursed Palace, because I think they're going to be upset with me when they find out. Hello, I am Sobek, the chief of the Urukites. Kensu told us you freed him. An audacious feat. I know that name, Sobek. What do I know that name from? Hmm. I just don't know the mythology that well. We've long wondered who the hero was who continuously defied Set and stole his treasures from under his nose in his own castle. You are a real hero for my people, and the only person that could conceive of challenging Set. Kensu has also told us that a magical character was giving you energy with a canopic vase. We found this one lost in one of the rooms of the castle. Until now, we didn't understand its purpose. Please help us. Our kind are as old as the land of Uruk itself. Now Set is here, we are nothing but prey, hunted by those savage beasts. We know where Set draws his strength from. He uses an overwhelming magical device to generate the ray, his main power. Sadly, this task is beyond the Urukites, but if you can deactivate it, Set will lose his main strength, his crucial advantage. Follow us, and we will show you the place. But I didn't get to save. We cannot go beyond this point. It's too dangerous. Good luck. We all anticipate your victory. Oh, there's a safe point here. Doesn't look like the mechanism to a uh, deadly machine. Ah! All right. That only 
works if I'm on fire. Start by pulling random levers. <clears throat> oh dear. Gee, I wonder how this room works. You found the sixth stolen Abydos jewel. This is the first time I've ever had more than one. I'm gonna be dropping it off, huh? No one could have seen that coming. But we'll see about those uh, tasks. Oh, it lowers. On the next episode of uh, Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you then. Later.